Hey y'all, it's Travis. I hope you're doing good. I'm going to talk with you about targets for sports photography. If you've ever fired a rifle or shot a bow and arrow, you had a target you were aiming at. Sports photography is the same thing. Let's take a look. I'm a Canon shooter, so you're going to see Canon graphics. If you have a different brand camera, you can still do this. I'm under the AF point selection menu. If you are a new sports photographer, you definitely want to be using automatic selection. If you've been shooting for a while, let's say you've been shooting for three months or six months, go to the same menu, go to manual selection and choose the center square right here. Let's talk about some images. This happened really fast. My gosh, he's, he caught this ball. It's probably going 50 miles an hour. The question is, where is your target? Where do you aim those autofocus points that I just showed you? You aim them right there where that number five is. These autofocus systems on cameras love details and contrast. In this shot, the autofocus was pointed right in here. You've got a lot of good details and contrast. Same thing with basketball. You just want to train your eye to lock into that area right there on the jersey. Here's some high school basketball, anywhere where Cardinal Newman, number three, anywhere in that area is gonna get your autofocus working fast for you. This shot was taken down at the other end of the court. So the action's all the way down at the other end of the court. A lot of times the player's backs are facing you. What do you do? Same technique, focus on number 25. There are lots of good details and contrast there. Now she doesn't have on the number or any lettering. So you would aim kind of in this area here and your autofocus is going to like the fact that background is real dark, so that white is contrasting against that dark background. I want to show you this one because you can't see anything. You can't see any of the jersey, no lettering, nothing there to work with. Where would you aim? You would aim right in this area, right up here where her head is. You do not want to try and track the ball. She's hitting, swinging this racket so hard, she's probably hitting that ball back 50 miles an hour. And same thing with men's soccer here. You lock, lock into this area right here. Women's soccer, a lot of good contrast here. You've got the white and the black, that contrast of the number and that wave going across right here. Golf is a little bit easier because they're not running towards you or want, running away from you, running side to side. You can pre-focus on this area right here. He's down in the bunker. So uh, that's why you can't see all of, all of him. He's hitting the ball out of the bunker there. He's not wearing that traditional jersey. He doesn't have the number. So you would just aim in this area. Camera loves this. You've got all these great details. You've got highlights and shadows and Mississippi State. That autofocus is going to work so fast. You're seeing the same thing here. Uh, no matter the sport, you're aiming right in this area, right, in the, right on the chest here, Carolina, number six. Y'all don't get frustrated if you go out and shoot swimming and you don't come away with anything. The first time I did it, it was a disaster years ago. I, uh, it is a hard sport to, to photograph. Uh, she is spinning furiously and so fast. Your, your zone is right in here. Your target is right here. Uh, you're not going to be able to, to read any details as she's spinning. They're going so fast. So you just pick a, a larger area right in here and let your autofocus do the work. With the, with the swimming, you want to aim for the face because that's the first thing that comes out of the water. If they're doing the butterfly or the, the breaststroke, they're, they're going down and coming right up. And the first thing up is their face. So you want to aim for their face. Here's some indoor track. Same thing as before. We're aiming for the jersey. Lots of good details with the logos and the lettering number 11. I hope this was helpful. I hope you all have fun shooting. I hope you like and subscribe. And don't forget, if Tiger Woods or Dustin Johnson handed you their golf club, that doesn't mean you're going to immediately make great golf shots. It's the same thing with photography. Just because you walk out with a brand new camera, incredible lens, it's still going to take practice. It's going to take time to get it down. Y'all have fun.